Hey everybody, welcome on back, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue where we left off. Uh, sorry for the a little short little term of not posting anything. Uh, I just came back from a family vacation. Uh, I tried to post a couple of videos before I left, but unfortunately I couldn't do it because of my main job. Uh, kind of had a last minute crisis, so I just kind of got too busy. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and pick, go ahead and start heading this way. Uh, there's a couple of items here. As the name implies, uh, that shoots three round burst, but I prefer to put it away, mainly because uh, it just uses up ammo so fast, and uh, I kind of like I prefer, you know, if your if if your if your shooting's not the greatest with a handgun, then don't use it because you'll be missing all the place, and before you know it, you'll run out of ammo. So. That's kind of why I prefer the, the regular Glock. That way I can try to make every shot count. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? I'm an underground. Large stockpile the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. Hmm. Oh man, they're saying there's something else in here. Oh, Carlos, why'd you have to take all the good stuff? It might be counting that crate that's right here. Hmm. Ah, let me put this away. We're going to be picking up a couple things, so, uh, trying to keep up as much open space as, uh, we're going to backtrack the hospital a little bit so we can get the Magnum. You know, that's a very important weapon there, especially for the bigger enemies and bosses. I typically like to save the Magnum rounds for the boss. There's a zombie up here. We're going to try to get him a few shots as possible. Come on. Hopefully we get a critical shot. Come on. <laughs> you missed me. Alright, let's get him down quick. Alright, this is where we need to go at the end. Let's see here. Oh, man. <clears throat> Sorry, I was trying to switch it around. I guess I can't do it right now. There we go. That way, you know, you'll be able to pick locks a lot faster. But, uh, we're not going to go this way just yet. Because uh, I want to backtrack and pick up a couple items. Mainly, I want to get that Magnum. But we'll pick up a thing or two along the way. Let's see here. Lock up. Unlock here. Give me some good stuff here. I can't remember if stuff... Some of these boxes is random, but... I know it's usually Magnum in that particular case. But... Right there, that's what we're after. Your Desert Eagle is going to be in that box. <clears throat> but, you know, Resident, e Resident Evil likes to call it the Lightning Hawk, you know, just because of, I guess, trademark issues with the manufacturer. Uh, if they said Desert Eagle, then they have to pay Desert Eagle so they can use their product in a video game. You know, that license kind of crap. Anyways. Michelle. Okay, nothing in here. There's 
Let's see, we got three slots. I think that explosive over there is the only thing. This looks like Nikolai's work. Yep. Okay. So there's a couple of zombies in here along with the hunter so I like to take priority over the hunter because they're just so fast and uh, they can kill you of one hit they got that little instant death kill attack uh, that's why I think the shotguns the best weapon to take them out unfortunately you know Carlos didn't have that luxury so we're gonna let him come to us and try to kill him if many uh, sorry, few shots as possible And there'll be another zombie over there. I'm gonna probably run through these doors. Uh, do I have any? Maybe I'll just use a shotgun. That's a lot of them. <laughs> that one got a little too. really don't like it when they're like side by side like this because come on Jill why did you spin around you're not supposed to do that all right as soon as you get up really It's okay, we got some herbs we can use. I just really don't like using shotgun shells on zombies because it's really meant for like bigger things. It's just there were just so many of them in that little tight spot. Um I think there's a couple things to pick up. Oh yeah. Could have used you a minute ago. We're almost done, uh. <coughs> But I think I'm gonna have to get through Hunter to I don't know if he might be right behind this door. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go around him. Really don't want to use grenades on him. I just need to combine some herbs here. Okay. Part is use this one herb to top off. And uh, I'm not expecting anything to happen, but you know, why not save? I mean, uh, if you're trying to get for an S rank and uh, don't save this many times, but you know, I'm not going for a save. Uh, you know, this is a casual walkthrough, so I'm just focused on just you know, getting done and uh. So I really don't care about saves. I got S rank on this difficulty already. Okay, that hunter might... Because what I need to do, I need to hang a left and... You remember that little crawl space Carlos couldn't go through? 
Or that's where we need to go. But that hunter might show up. Yeah, I hear him. I think I can squeeze by. Yeah, uh, he was there. I heard him. I don't know if I can. I can't see him, but I heard him gurgle. Anyways, uh, we don't have to worry about him now, so we're just gonna hop over here and get the gun. And we'll be out of this hospital. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Oh yeah. Let's see. That's it. So let's get the heck out of here. Or wait a minute. <laughs> I overshot it. Look for the yellow type. Let's see. There's. Oh. Hang on, I did miss a green herb. I mean, we got a spot for it, so we'll go ahead and grab it. We're gonna get our last uh, item pouch in just a little bit, so uh, we'll be okay on inventory. Let's see, right, there we go. Now we can get the heck out of here. Oh yeah, there might be a hunter coming up, so be ready. Come on, shoot, shoot! Jill, just don't look at him. I swear, I was like hitting down buttons and she wasn't doing a thing. That's one thing I kind of hate about the... I'm not sure if anybody has any at the same issues on the Xbox or the PC, but it seems like when I try to back up and aim, uh, she doesn't. She just like runs around in circles and doesn't like aim her gun. I have that issue once in a while, and I don't know. It just annoys the heck out of me. Oh well, that's okay. We got spare green herbs we can use that with, and uh. Go through here. In Inferno difficulty, there would be another zombie here, I think. I think one of those are generators. Unfortunately, we're going to run into those. Uh, this must be the way in front. Start running into those, and I'm going to tell you, I hate those things. Let's see. That's it for this spot. We're going to go ahead and hit this elevator and go downstairs. We're almost in the lab. I was hoping we can do this all in one video on the last time, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to. If we didn't do the cutscenes, it probably wouldn't be a problem. But, you know, that's the problem of trying to film these things. Uh, cutscenes, they can take up so much time. But, uh. How I'd... is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Well, it's easy, Jill. Because they're paid to keep their mouth shut. Or. They might be afraid of their li own lives if they uh, blow the whistle. You haven't still got it yet, Jill? Umbrella owns Raccoon City. Well, they, it's more like they owned it, but now the zombies do. <laughs> Oh, me. Did I get everything? Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna go find this. The item box is just right past this door, so... Shouldn't be anything else over here. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna put this away for now. Oh, I can use some more shotgun shells. got a save to spare I kind of recommend oh sorry about that I had a little message I had to read but if you got a save you can afford to use this will be a good spot to use it because uh if this is your first time through here it can get a little hairy I mean it's not terrible I guess the only thing that could be a problem is uh we're gonna run into our first gen regenerator it's a uh, like a pale zombie and uh, you have to kill it quick and hit it hard I'm almost tempted to use a magnum round on it just for that reason because if you don't kill them fast and hard uh, they will uh, regenerate almost as quickly as you damage them and so that's why you know in higher difficulties they're just so hard to kill that uh, it's really not worth it There's Nikolai. Looks like he's waiting on us. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple things off because we will be picking up some things. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're okay now. Alright, sorry about that. I kind of had a bit of a blooper. I just didn't want to waste uh, too many magnum rounds because the guy just kept stepping side by side and I couldn't hit him. And I'm trying to save my magnum rounds, so I'm just going to go use one right away. He's still up. Oh yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. So we don't have to worry about him. And uh... These guys will become a problem later, but they're okay right now. Just kind of walk up here and pretend we're going to go somewhere. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. This. But I'm afraid our game's end here. <clears throat> you think this is over? Oh, Nikolai, you're just rolling those R's like a true Russian. Don't forget about these two item boxes. They are random. Come on, I need some shotgun shells. I don't need handgun bullets. I mean, I got a very reasonable amount. Okay, so the objective of this part is to pick up three of these fuses so we can get that fuse box repaired. Let's see, try to remember, there's, there's one over there, and another one is right in there. It's going to take a little bit to get in there, but we'll get to that in just a minute. But as soon as we climb the ladder, there's going to be a couple dogs we got to kill. So just pull your shotgun out if you got shells to spin, and be ready. Another one's gonna come up right. I don't know if we got him. Where'd he go? Gotta make sure he's down. Sometimes, sometimes uh, you think you get him, but you actually just end up stunning them.
No, I just... It's always been like this. I hated dogs in all Resident Evil games. They're just always been a pain in the butt for me. Oh, man. Sorry, if you hear any, any little blipping noises in the background once in a while, it's just my Facebook is, like, going off like crazy. Uh... Oh, sweet. We just need that to happen as much as possible. Okay. And you oh, might have... No, wait. And uh there is a Charlie little doll around here too, so just kind of look look for him. I was tempted to like start with a fresh game that way uh they're there and you can see me shooting them. But, you know, this is like my 10th playthrough. Okay. Um, go on. We're going to lower this for a minute because there's a shotgun upgrade right over there we need to get. Now the shotgun's fully upgraded. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and raise this up. Uh, I want to get this. Uh, okay, this we need to head that way, but we're, we'll head there in just a minute. I want to get this area cleared up. Mainly because. Uh, the shortcuts over here and there's a couple of zombies uh, Jill you're supposed to dodge Okay. I think they're dead. Okay. That should be everything in here. I know we still got a few things to get. I just want to get this shortcut unlocked. I know I'm saving a lot. It's just, uh, we got another hunter coming up. If you're comfortable shooting him, it's just I don't want to heal just yet. And, uh, should be, I need these and this. I think I got, okay, we got flame rounds. The reason I'm pulling that out is because we're about to face a, uh, a gamma. And uh, we'll get that in just a minute. Oh, there's a document here to pick up. If I'm acting like I'm a little bit of a hurry, such as, you know, I'm not reading that stuff, uh, I'm just trying to get this area done before I go to work. Okay. I'm trying to think here. We'll save that in just a minute. There's a couple things I want to pick up here first. There's going to be about three or four zombies in there, and a gamma's going to be in that box. 
So, uh, to get myself plenty of room, I'm going to take the gamma out first. Alright, buddy. Open up and say, ah. Uh, Oh man, they really got here fast. Let's see if I can use a handgun. He's dead, he's dead. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, we need to make sure we get this first. I don't think we got enough spots. I'll just do that, free it up for that sake. I'll combine. close to 30 minutes well maybe not quite 30 minutes but I'm probably gonna stop off in a few minutes cuz uh, I fortunately I get ready for work uh, I was off for a long weekend so uh, unfortunately for my job when I just cuz I stopped working like going on vacation Work doesn't stop for me, so I'll probably have a big pile of emails to read. So we got a hunter. He's gonna come up and try to scare us. I'm just gonna use a fire round to take him out. Hopefully he doesn't dodge. I don't know what's up with that. Whether that was splash damage or what, but it seems like he took a lot more hits than normal. Okay, gonna get our last fuse. Alright, here goes. Um, I know there's probably a couple small items, but I ain't gonna worry about it. We got the important things. I'm just a little bit pressed for oh, pressed for time. I'm just gonna get a grenade out. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't think we're going to need all these heals. Okay, so those three zombies are going to come to life and most likely, I don't know if it's random, sometimes I see all three of them do it, sometimes I see two, but they're going to turn into those uh, nemesis parasites. So I figure I'll just use a gr Some people can run right through them, but I'm just gonna use a grenade and either stun them or take them out. If it don't, it didn't kill them, but it'll give me plenty of time to do this and get around and get on the elevator. I just don't think they're they're worth the trouble to waste all these bullets on. Shit. He got away. There's a. Oh, sorry. 
hidden upgrade for your magnum. And that's it for this room. It's kind of interesting to add it an item box right here. We'll just go ahead and up go ahead and upgrade it. Chances are we'll get busy and forget. Come on, where's my guns at? I'm a little bit surprised that uh that doesn't take up two slots. I think in Resident Evil 2 it did. So and uh I honestly don't see the point. In the auto box I kinda do, but because we're gonna run into one just in a little bit. You just read his log and or just back out of it and it'll start another cutscene. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if. We can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Oh man, I really hate to kill off Tyrell. You know, I have to say he's probably he was probably one of my favorite characters in this game. I mean, they could have made him a third survivor. Okay, we are in the lab, the final part of the game. But uh, I figured this probably will be a good stopping point. I mean, uh, it would have been nice if I could have got the series wrapped up in this last video. I mean, this would have been the last video, but unfortunately, for I mean, you know, we just couldn't do it because, uh, you know, these cutscenes just take up so much time. Saying there's an item. Oh, here we go. Wrong corner. Okay, so, come on Jill, turn around for me. So we're going to go ahead and stop off for today and uh, we'll pick up and finish up the series. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching and always be sure to like and subscribe uh, and help, help me out so I can keep making more videos. Appreciate it and see you later.